Hello, hello. Today, let's talk about the S Pen on your Galaxy S24 Ultra. This is a really cool additive part of your workflow, if you like it. Where we can find the S Pen? Here. Go to the bottom line of your smartphone. Here you can see the SIM tray. Here are um, um, the power supply, USB-C. And there it is. This is the area where the S Pen is docked. We push a little bit with our fingers and then you can see it comes out a little bit. Then we can pull it out and we can use it. So let's start now using. We can, um, oops, we can use this S Pen as we like to use our fingers. Okay, you can see we can go right and left, up and down. Everything is like the same. And we have more functions because there's a function button. For example, we perform this in the internet. Okay, here we are on the internet page. And if we go to uh, um, use it, that means we can push once to go forward and push two to go backward. You can see this function on this area over there. This is the um, um, the, the, the hot key for it. That means if you remove the S Pen, this uh, menu button here pops up. You can get this where you like on the screen. And then you can see what you can do with a shortcut. And it's the same if you are in syntax. You can see here only over movement, not push it, move it. Push means um, short selection. And if you hover over it, you see the options. Once is back, two is forward. Once is back, two is forward steps. Okay. For example, you can also push and hold to um, to use text as you like. And then, of course, you can select all, share, translate, copy. You can find, manage the apps and so on with it. For example, we can translate it into English if it is German or you can translate it into German if it's English or other languages as you like. Okay, that's really easy. Huh? Oh yes, you can handle this. Well, now we let's have a look what options this S Pen can. We go up uh, from the upside down and you can um, enter into the setup um, with the setup button over there or you uh, swipe upward and go to settings. Then go down and search for the advanced features. Here we are. Advanced features, that means um, labs and S Pen. Now you can see over there, there's an S Pen option. Let's go to the S Pen. You can see now the S Pen is removed and the battery is 100%. If I docked it back into position, you can see it's inserted. If I remove it, it's removed. Then we can make an air actions switch on or switch off this air actions. You can see um, it, um, it, it, it um, leaves you then and the air S Pen is not being connected anymore for the air action. The air action is this mo over movement and so on. To enable this, we again, we have to insert it back and then it connects to the air actions mode. You can see now, um, it is back in position and now it's connected again. This is, uh, is for the air actions and the air commands are able to use in different styles. We can make a standard style or a compact style. Now, quickly access apps and S Pen features in a convenient collapsible menu. We can drag anywhere on the screen for this and we can make shortcuts. The shortcuts we can add with a lot of apps, as you can see, we can get them into position to make a shortcut with it. Really cool feature. Then we can make show the air command icon. You can see this is the air command over there, air command. We can enable or disable this function. And we can open air command with the pen button. We open the air command menu when we move over our S Pen over the screen and press the pen button. Okay, that means if we see that point, but we are only hover um, over it, we can open by pushing on the button 
of the S Pen, the quick, um, the quick commands. Okay, we can enable this or disable this. Then um, we have Air Views, Previous and Pointer. You can see now here is the Previous Pointer theme. If I disable this, it's not there anymore. But the S Pen um, works, of course. Then the S Pen to text. That means if I write something, I can translate this into a text later for this. When the S Pen is removed, the device will do nothing. Create a note and open an air command. You can choose from. Screen off memos. Write notes while the screen is off. Just remove the S Pen and start writing. Quick notes, press and hold the pen button, then tap the screen twice with our S Pen to create a new note. Okay, let's try this. Push, double tap, and done. There it is. We can start to have fun with it. So if we are here, we can make a easy peasy going Scrabble, for example, with different colors and different sizes. And we can remove it by pushing and hold the button. Then we can remove it, for example, and so on. Let's can choose between different styles of 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 your um, of your uh, color scheme and so on. It's really, really cool. Hello. And then of course you can go and make favorites. For example, you can add something for favorites and so on. So that is a, a discharge this, and um, we go back to our. S Pen design, screen of memos, quick notes, and here are more options of the S Pen available. You press the pen button to unlock our phone. For security, our S Pen needs to be outside of our phone before it locks, and we need to manually unlock our phone after we press the pen before the button the first time. That is possible to let it out, close your, um, your device, and then you can unlock it by using the pen. Allow multiple S Pens. If you have um, multiple S Pens available, one can be docked into position and the other can be used for it. Keep the S Pen connected. This is for faster action, but it uses more battery power. And one if the S Pen is left behind. We chose a warning if we leave our S Pen behind and walk away with our phone while the screen is off. That's a really cool feature because it's only a pen and you can left it behind really fast. The sounds. Play sounds when I insert and remove the S Pen or write on the screen. Vibrations, the uh, same like if you, if, you, if you do something, it will give the vibrations. And then about the S Pen gives us information about the S Pen itself. So, okay, let's um, try this once. I dock this back position. If I remove the pen, there comes the function. Here we are. Now we can write. Hello, for example. Then we can choose different colors. We can choose different sizes and different colors, for example. We can delete something, remove it. We can choose between um, different staff and we can use here this pinner to get this as a screen. This is the Oversound display screen now. Mm -hmm. That's funny, isn't it? So that's really cool. And of course, you can make so much more. For example, let's make a note. And we can make a little bit writing now. Here we are. And then we can use this line lasso to make cut, copy, delete, or change the style, or convert to text, align the handwriting, move forward, move backward, align the handwriting. You can see now it's in a line. That's good. We can choose this, okay? Or we translate or convert this into a text. That's a really cool feature, isn't it? So we can make a translate, um, um, transform this into text and so on. Of course, you can use this as 
you can use your fingers to make a, a third and um, to write, for example, here we go and write something. You can, no, you can talk over there, then you can make a write process over there. That means um, we delete it, we go it, and then P, D, U, E, S, P, for example, and it writes uh, this from from my um, handwriting to a text. Really cool feature in nearly all areas of your phone. So these are only a little um, thing to use and uh, how to use your pen, but these are the basic, I think. That's a really cool feature with your Galaxy S24 Ultra. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback and I hope to see you again on my channel. Soon soon.